What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I have another leak for you guys on possibly what could be the 4 September DLC, what it could be titled and what it will offer to us as players. But before we get into that guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to support the channel, hitting that like button truly does do that and I do appreciate that support. Okay, so a recent post on 4chan was made, which you guys can find linked within the video description if you do want to check it out. Supposedly holds details of the September DLC. Now I will mention, take this with a pinch of salt. It sounds cool, sounds legit, but sometimes they do, and they do end up being fake. I mean, the 4 DLC reveal drops pretty soon, and E3 is just around the corner. I mean, these kind of details are known by many folks, so it could indeed be possible. It could indeed be true, it could indeed be factual information, but we will see. Remember though, as of now, take it with a pinch of salt. So this was posted anonymously on 4chan and it states, The Comet expansion is called The Summoning of the Nine and it's being released on September 7th. Storyline revolves around Yuldrin resurfacing with an army of fallen soldiers to rescue his sister from the Nine. Nine are forced to unleash the Nastrareth to stop Aldrin's army. Brand new enemy race of Void Demons. Nastrareth are led by Nazarak, the main antagonist of the expansion besides Aldrin. Nazarak is a former 10th member of the Nine who was banished for betraying his brethren. The expansion's new raid is called the Tomb of Eternity and revolves around stopping Nazarak for good. The Nine are met during the expansion's campaign and help you stop Nazarak. 10 new story missions and 4 new strikes, 2 new destinations, the Reef and the Void, brand new cooperative activity known as the Court, details and this are scarce at the moment but it's a brand new PvE activity new to the Destiny series. The expansion has been officially revealed on Tuesday. Now going by the hints we have seen already, Wildren's ship in game, the reveal image yesterday clearly showed the Reef and at the community summit many folks that attended played a new mode new to the series. Was this the Court? I mean, NDAs will surely be cleared soon, so you never know people. 10 new story missions, let's hope they are long ass story missions. 4 new strikes, sounds about right for a big expansion. A new raid, which is called the Tomb of Eternity, sounds absolutely epic. It revolves around us stopping Nazarek for good. A new enemy race, well that clears things up people, it's gotta be fake. Jokes aside, Void Demons, they ain't holding back there. I mean, much of this makes sense, but again guys, like I said, take it with a pinch of salt. It only takes one smart geek out there to put this all together, going off what we know already. But I will say many big sources are covering this, like Forbes and so forth. There could indeed be some legitimacy behind it, you just never know. A 9 DLC sounds great in my opinion though. Is it too good to be true? You know what they say? In this case, I hope this actually is true. It sounds great for sure, and it's something I believe the game actually needs. What do you think? Does it sound legit? Do you think it's legit? I'm in two minds. Let me know your thoughts on this down below within that comment section. The Summoning of the Nine DLC, September 7th. This is that major fall expansion. I don't know, sounds too good to be true. On that note guys, I am out. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, truly does help me out. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.